Hello everyone, now we will discuss how we can calculate sin x using this sin x series. By studying this sin x series, what we can con uh, conclude about the powers and the factorial. They follow a specific sequence which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 which are odd multiples. First of all, for having a, a good algorithm, we should reduce as much calculations as we can. So by ob observing this, what we can say about the nth term of the sin x function? The, uh, let us try to explore what we can uh, conclude about the these terms. First term is x, second term is x cubed by 3 factorial, I am neglecting their sign. Third term is x raised for 5, 5 factorial and the first second fourth term is x raised to 7 by 7 factorial so now uh, we can see uh, see that first term is x 1 from this uh, what we can say second term is i cube by 3 factorial i can write it as x into x square by and the third term is for i is equals to 2 third term is x raised to the power 5 by 5 factorial which can be written as x raised to the power 3 by 3 factorial x square by 4 5 i is 3 and fourth term is x raised to the power 7 by 7 factorial x raised to the power 5 by 5 factorial into x square by 6 into 7 which is i raised to 4 how can we write our general term uh, we can relate each term with the previous term like in uh, in these three i have related the first term with the its previous term like s2 s2 can be written as s1 into x square upon 2 into 3 s3 can be written as s2 for s3 this word s3 s3 is nothing but s2 which is this one s2 into x square by 4 into 5 so uh, the one thing which I am going to change is I am uh, changing their numbers. So as we know that uh, in programming our counting starts from zero. So I am changing these i1 to zero term. For there is a reason why I am changing it. You will uh, realize why I am changing this for finding a pattern on these numbers. Now as I have changed these numbers, so I will change this also zero and this also. S0 S so so for finding a uh, relation I have done this so what can I say about the nth Sn Sn will be S n minus 1 into x square upon Sn is nothing but from uh, these these three examples what we can see is 1 here 1 2 times 2 times plus 1 3 3 into 2 6 3 into 2 plus 1 7 so now uh, from this we can say that it will be x square upon 2n into 2n plus 1 so now uh, we have got the general term in the terms of n what we uh, need is only the zeroth term then we can uh, calculate the nth term as this so now let's see how our C program will look like. Now uh, I have declared uh, three variables as float and three variables as uh, integer. And these variables are sin x and the PT, p term which is pre previous term and the x which I will take from user and integer i sin. I, am, I have initiated sin with minus 1. I will tell, tell uh, why I have done this and the n scan up uh, then sin x. <laughs> Uh, I am assigning x to sin x and uh, previous term to x.
because the uh, first term of the series will be x and um, so i have uh, assigned sin x as x now uh, as we go in this loop we'll see i is equals to 1 because i have uh, we have already already calculated s0 which is this one so i1 i is less than equals to n and can be anything you want uh, take whatever you want you can take n um, it depends on you how many terms you want in your series then i plus plus sin x this one sin x is sin x which is x plus sin which is minus 1 star previous term previous term is x star x star i upon this brackets this brackets this brackets uh, 2 star i which is 2 into 1 which is 2 into 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 3 so 2 into 3 which will give us 3 factorial so this is correct x1 is uh, now uh, I, what we have get is x plus x cube by 3 factorial now this uh, loop this code will go to th in this part first term is x star x star x x cube by 3 factorial will be now our previous term will be x cube upon 3 factorial now sign is plus positive so we will go here then i will be 2 i will i is increased i will be 2 we will check this condition and let it be and be uh, 15 now 2 is less than 15 so this con uh, this uh, uh, loop will run sin x now the value of sin x is the previous value which is when, uh, we have calculated uh, calculated previously now what we will get is this is this this one is this term sin x plus sin sin which is positive so it will plus sorry this this one is minus positive uh, sign is positive plus previous term previous term was s1 and the s1 s1 was this s1 was x cube by 3 factorial so x cube by 3 factorial upon 2 into 2 which is 4 then this one is 5 which is 4 into 5 which will become 5 factorial so this will give us s1 plus plus s2 so accordingly we will calculate all the terms and uh, after termination we will get the answer so now let's see whether our uh, code is running or not uh, so i will take smaller values of x like 0 0.1 i'm getting 0 0.998 uh, like if I take 0 0.5 I will get 0 0.479426 okay we'll check whether it is correct or not 0 0.5 of sin x this is approximately same like you can see so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel